Comment 507 uh, asks you to make sure that you know how to convert between mixed and improper fractions. Um, so if you had a mixed fraction, you go that times that plus that. And then just cross, copy across the denominator. Um, and if you have a improper fraction, you go that divided by that. There's room for three, um, room three fives in an eighteen with three left over. So the answer you get to the division goes there, the remainder goes there, and the denominator gets copied across. I recommend that you always have in your head just a simple instance of this, um, where the numbers are all different. So, for example, thirteen equals two times five plus three. Um, just keep that on hand so that you can successfully navigate through unfamiliar situations um, when you're asked to switch between alternative expressions of things. So 13 is 2 times 5 plus 3. That means that 13 over 5 equals 2 and 3 fifths. It means that 13 over 2 equals um, going to say that that's um, equal to five and three halves, which it certainly does. It's just that that is a bit ridiculous. Um, So basically what I'm saying is that this is the central fact which makes improper fractions and mixed fractions equivalent to each other. Now one context that this comes up in is when you're powering um, things. So that squaring cannot be separately applied to the 2 and the 5th. Um, you cannot just square the two and then square the fifth and write them next to each other. You must instead convert to mixed fractions um, first and then you can square the top and the bottom separately.